the Mueller Martini 227 inserting machine. In production for over 40 years, the name is well known throughout the world for quality and versatility. At the time of conception, the design was innovative and state of the art. Even 40 years later, the mechanical principles are still up to date. The 227 inserting machine is based on a straight line design. By combining suction and mechanical grippers, copies are picked up from the feeder and transferred via belts to the inserting track under positive control. The main section is fed onto the insert track using the same principles as other feeders. A timed pusher mechanism accelerates the main section to the speed of the carrier chain. The jacket then travels to the opening station where suction can be used to open the jacket or the sword attachment can be used on heavy broad sheet main section or thin products with laps. Positive control is maintained until the package is delivered onto a single belt and shingled to preset batches for fast and easy hand flying. We can upgrade your machine on site with a downtime on average of less than two days. The electronic system includes a custom built panel with a programmable logic controller, complete wiring harness for the entire machine, new drive motor upgrade, all new stop buttons, center drum detection, which enables the feeder to run smaller inserts and still have detection. A photo eye sensor system allows any thickness of insert to be used. The system also includes delivery upgrades and Lexan bulletproof plates on the insert track which speeds up setup time and aids in operating the machine. Our electronic reject system is designed with simplicity in mind and the ability to expand as your needs grow for more pockets, making it operator friendly while providing years of dependable service. When one feeder inline misses, the following feeders will not feed into the jacket and that piece will be diverted at the reject area. Our unopened jacket detection feature works by simply turning on a designated switch. If the jacket does not open, the second, third, and fourth feeders down the line will not feed inserts, reducing the chance of a paper jam at the delivery area. With a simple entry into the keypad, the repair feature is ready to operate. This feature allows an operator, when possible, to run the same insert in two feeders. So when the first feeder misses, the second feeder will make the piece good. This feature is very useful for thick or pre-packed inserts and also for those inserts that always give problems, thus allowing you to keep the finished product going out the door. The drive motor upgrade utilizes variable speed drive technology, which ensures proper start and stop speeds to reduce coasting. The drive is designed for expandability to serve your future needs. After the grippers close, sensing takes place immediately on the center drum. Detecting on the center drum allows the operator to run a wider range of products without losing production. In addition to the benefit of increased production and quality control, the cost of the electronic systems may be tax deductible as repair and upgrade maintenance. Installation of our electronics package can increase profits as well as save on taxes. First, the machine is completely disassembled, repainted, and every piece inspected for defects or wear and replaced as needed. Second, new drive bearings are installed. Third, sprocket alignment is set to laser specs. Fourth, the original equipment air bars and valves are inspected and repaired as needed. And finally, chain rails are replaced on the entire machine. After the feeder heads are completely disassembled, the innovations from years of specializing on the 227 are evident in the numerous modifications made to each feeder, such as threaded sucker bars, center drum detection, flexible air deflectors, coated grippers, include a new carrier chain, pocket chains, a completely rebuilt conveyor, and improvements to the delivery system. All air and vacuum tubing is replaced. All functions of the new electronic system such as the unopened jacket are checked. The repair feature is checked for operation and the machine is operated for at least 40 hours, after which every nut, bolt and screw is checked for tightness. The pride of the original craftsman is instilled in every aspect of our remanufacturing process. And don't forget 
that the Mueller Martini 227 has turned out more newspapers on time than all other inserters combined. The fact that for over four decades the 227 has been recognized as the industry's only true proven workhorse. Now jackets can range from 128 page broadsheets down to a four page glossy tabloid to a quarter fold making it more versatile than any other inserter on the market today. Insert capabilities also enjoy the same flexibility. From 128 page broad sheets to single sheets, pre-packs to index cards and quarter folds to stitched catalogs, the 227 can handle them all. Another inherent quality of the 227 is the true ease and quick time to set up for make readies, making it simple to operate and faster to convert setups. No job is too big or too small for the 227. Martin's feeder head exchange program offers a cost-effective way to upgrade your machine on site with minimum downtime, while producing immediate results upon completion. The exchange program feeders are remanufactured to the same standards as all rebuilds. These feeders are painted the same color as your existing machine. Pegas Mailing Services is a member of Cox Communications Direct Mailing Group with weekly circulations of 387,000 packages and over 6 million inserts. They made the decision to remanufacture their entire plant in Charlotte, North Carolina. In early 2001, the project, which included a total of five machines, began and was completed by May 1st, one month ahead of schedule, with no unresolved issues or complaints. Now, one year later, the results speak for themselves. Downtime has been drastically reduced. Setup time has also proven to be quicker and easier than before. Production has seen an impressive 20% to as much as 30% increase and has reduced staffing as well as the need for overtime.